Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to show you real quick how to make book snaps with Google Drawing. So naturally you're going to go into your Google Drive, um, select more here and Google Drawing. Okay, so now you need to add a Chrome extension. Go to the Chrome Web Store and type in Alice Keeler Webcam Snapshot. You must have this to take a book snap. Um, go to add extension. There are two different pieces you will have to click allow Make sure that you do that or you won't be able to take the snapshot. Um, from here, you're going to make your custom stickers. So you'll hold your book up. Make sure your title and the authors are seen in your snapshot. Then go to Insert Image Drive and then click and drag your snapshot shot over. You will also do the same thing for your text. You do want to make sure, like if you're making a custom sticker, I recommend that students make sure they have the title and the authors down there at the bottom. Now, there's a, there's a couple of cool things you could do. One, um, I like to change the background too, so I typically just right click in this open space, change the background. I personally like a black one. From here, you're going to want to insert text. So the, a couple of things that I always make sure to tell students to insert is you want to insert the title of the book and also the authors, which I just mentioned. However, if you make a custom sticker, the job is done for you. It's a little different. Um, a lot of times we will annotate exactly what we're, we're wanting them to see. If you wanted to, you could always use the drawing app um, here and you could just highlight the pieces that you like or you can create a visual digital representation, which is personally what I like to do. So from here, you're gonna go to insert image, search the web, and then once you're on this page, you're gonna type in the word you're looking for. So speak in this case, choose an image, and then click insert, and it will show up in your book snap. If you wanna add your Bitmoji, and I think that's kind of, a, this would be a fun time to do that. You can add a Google Chrome extension and have the Bitmoji here. If you have the extension, you can actually just drag your Bitmoji over. This is kind of fun. Um, I learned this from Matt Miller the other day when we were talking about tech in the classroom and making comics. But if you go to insert and you add shape and you do a call out, you can actually do a think bubble. To type in it, you just double click, type my annotation. And right here, I think I, I, I kind of like the comic a permanent marker. I like that font. It just looks more comic-y. From here, I noticed that the picture is just a little bit um, kind of white and I, I want to make it just a little more contrast. So I, you can go to image options and change the brightness here. That might be a little bright. And then contrast kind of helps to make it a little more clear. So there you have it, a book snap with Google Drawing. You could annotate, you can have the kids insert a text box. They could actually say something. I think I might put an arrow just to show you what, I, what I'm thinking when I'm reading this. I'm really focusing on that one quote. So I can insert shape and arrow and change the paint on the arrow here. And the line width. Go to File, Download As. I find that the PNG works no matter what, JPEG or PNG. So I just download as PNG. From here, you can show it in your Finder, upload it to Google Classroom, upload it to Twitter. But there you have your image, and you are ready to go. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, just another way for students to make book snaps that... If you have Chromebooks or you have iPads, you probably have access to Google Drawing. If you do not, it works much the same in Google Slides. So I would love to see them. Please tag me at Tara Martin, E-D-U on Twitter or share with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see your books now.